back at the University of Toledo Medical Center tonight. We have Dr. Schwell Walmer with us again, and we've got some new information about cardiovascular and specific, almost a one-stop shop, especially when it comes to aneurysms. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, you know, uh, aneurysms of the aorta and dissections, uh, they are uh, lethal conditions and uh, a cause of uh, death. Um, and a lot is being done in this field. Um, until recently, um, you know, people were using Dacron um, tubes uh, to replace the aorta if they had an aneurysm or dissection. Uh, but now uh, a lot of stents have come in the market and they can be put in percutaneously. And at the university, we are making a heart and vascular center uh, which will provide a one-stop place for people with these disorders where we can decide on a case-by-case -case basis whether they would be better suited for an open operation or stent. And we are working with our vascular colleagues in conjunction and our cardiologists here uh, to provide the service uh, to the people. Do you, do you find when it's a one-stop shop like that that the continuity of care is better, and i.e. the care is better? It is better because, you know, if you go to just an interventional radiologist or vascular surgeon, or he could just probably provide stents. And if you come to a cardiac surgeon, he could, you know, at times some of them can provide both, but in most cases just provide an open procedure. Here we can offer all these modalities to the patients at once so, so that they can make a more informed decision as to what's better suited for them. And everybody has their individual issues, so they need right. their individual procedures. Absolutely. So if you have all the doctors lined up, you know, then Together, they get a better they idea. They get a better idea and they get the best treatment that way. And, and when you're talking about aneurysm specifically, you're talking about how serious it is. So any slight deviation right. from, from what would be perfect for that, it's got to be a, a tough could, combination. It would be lethal if you don't do the right thing for the patient. And are you finding there are more instances of aneurysm recently as opposed to past years, or is it, is it pretty level? Uh, it has stayed pretty level. It might be an increase. I don't know the exact numbers right now, but um, uh, it, it, has, it is pretty level. In fact, the uh, incidence of, I think, dissections is going up. Okay. Is, is there any basic advice you can give to people to maybe lower their chances of having any kind of issues when it comes to that? Maybe not needing the one-stop shop? The, you know, the things about aneurysms and dissections is that they, they are multifactorial. So, you know, and people have, you know, underlying uh, uh, congenital problems also which predispose uh, people to these um, aneurysms. Uh, they have, like, connective tissue disorders and things like that. So there's not a lot we can say. It's it's not like coronary artery disease where you would say you know smoking cessation and mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle would make a difference. Uh, in in this case, there's not a lot we can do. I mean, we don't know uh, whether pa pre patients pre have it. Yeah, it. unless you have disorders like Marfan syndrome or other connective tissue disorders where they would be screened earlier. Yeah. All right, well, good information. We'll, uh, we'll watch to see that one-stop shop right. as it develops here at the University of Toledo Medical Center. Doctor, Thank we you. appreciate your time, and that is your talk back.